Hi, my name is Cheyenne. And I'm Lauren. And we're occupational therapy students at Drake University. Today we're going to be showing you how to do a toe touch weight bearing transfer. Toe touch weight bearing transfers are helpful for individuals with knee, leg, and foot injuries, as well as individuals who have had knee or hip surgeries. Toe touch weight bearing transfers means that when you stand or walk, you are only using your affected leg for balance and you're not putting any weight through it. For the purpose of this demonstration, Lauren will be transferring from this chair in the back to a chair in the opposite end of the room. Lauren will be transferring from this chair on this end of the room to the chair on the other side using a walker. She will be showing you what it would look like if her left leg was affected. When transferring from her chair to the walker, it's important that she is doing it safely. She should scooch to the end of her chair, keeping her affected leg up. When she gets up, she should be putting all of her weight through her non-affected side. In this case, Lauren will be putting her weight through the right side. She should not reach out towards the walker to try to help herself up because this could lead to her falling or further injury. Instead, she should keep her hands on the armrest of the chair and push up off the armrests. Once she is up, then she should reach for the walker. When using the walker, you will bring the walker forward, bring the affected leg forward, in this case the left leg. Then you will touch the left toe on the ground and transfer all your weight through your hands. Then bring the right leg forward. Again, it's always walker, affected side or left side, and then the right side. Whenever you need to turn around, you're going to use the same technique, but pivot towards your strong side. So in this case, it would be the right side. Let the walker guide you. When transferring to your new location to sit down, you should reach back for the hand rest and sit down slowly, keeping your affected leg out. You do not want to weight bear through your affected leg at all. Make sure that you're relying on both of your arms and the unaffected leg for stability when sitting back down and put all of your weight through those areas.